What's up, what's good? It's your girl B here and I'm back with yet another video. For today's video, you guys, I have partnered up with Ronnie here to bring you guys my wig wash day routine. I initially installed this wig about two weeks ago in a vlog, if you guys remember, and I must say I have not been the best wig parent since. I have been had this wig laying around, collecting dust, and baby girl, she is in need of a very good cleaning. She's dirty, she's oily, the lace is a little bit gunky, and girl, is that lint? <laughs> girl i am screaming i literally had this wig laid in like my dirty clothes hamper so there's no telling what you can find so let's go ahead and jump into getting this wig right the first thing i'm going to do is of course saturate the hair with a bunch of wire the wig needs to be dripping wet sopping wet and the first giant i'm going to tackle is my lace now this is my dr broner's baby castile soap now i use the castile soap for my lace specifically because it's gentle it's not very harsh it's not too too stripping and it definitely gets the job done with removing any dirt, debris, gel, spray, anything from your lace. I apply this only to my lace and I work it in very gently. This may look like I'm being very rough because I am. <laughs> I should have been a lot more gentle because I easily could have ripped the lace. But um, you definitely want to massage this into the lace and then, and then let the water just run the rest of the product down the shaft of the hair. Now this product can also serve as a shampoo but I'm going to go in with a more gentler and more moisturizing shampoo and this is the daily defense argan oil moisturizing shampoo and yes this is from dollar tree you guys know i love dollar tree products when it comes to maintaining my wigs this shampoo is moisturizing very gentle and has great slip it gives me the feeling of a conditioner but it cleanses the hair very thoroughly and if you like the smell of coconut then this smells amazing now i'm going to make sure that i work this product in very very well before rinsing you're going to want to rinse out and wring out the hair completely until the water is clear until you see no suds that is when you know your hair is squeaky clean For my conditioner, lately I have been loving the Power Stick Pure Sulfate Free Coconut Oil Strengthening and Repair Conditioner. This is also a Dollar Tree product. This is a new conditioner I've been trying. I found this a couple of vlogs ago when I went to Orlando and I have been in love with it ever since. Now this conditioner is more so of a lighter weight conditioner. It isn't super duper thick. Um, It has great slip. This conditioner does target hair damage. And since I am one that likes to use hot tools such as straining my hair and warm curling my hair, I knew this is just what my my hair needed and it got me right now you're going to want to work this into your hair pretty good as well i do apply my conditioner from tip to root you should always pay close attention when you are conditioning to your ends because your ends are the most valuable and they are the most fragile after you have worked everything in you are going to rinse until you see nothing but clear water Now for drying, I do use a hooded dryer. I apply my wig to my mannequin head and I part my hair in the way I'm going to wear it. So that way it will dry already ready for me to apply and then straighten it to my liking. This is something that I found to be very beneficial. If you put the wig on the mannequin head, not detangled, sopping wet and just tangly from your wash, once it dries, it's gonna dry just like that, you guys. So you wanna make sure that you dry your hair with it being detangled and also parted out the way you're gonna wear it. And as you guys can see, everything is clean. The tank is clean, honey. <laughs> and the hair is straight and detangled and ready to just be popped on my head and styled. Now the wig in today's video is from Ronnie Hair and this unit is their Invisible Knot Fake Scalp Swiss Lace Wig. Now when it comes to this Invisible Knot, honey, listen, these knots are so small. After you're done bleaching your knots, they're going to be even more microscopic and undetectable than your regular wig. And that wig technology just gives you a more realistic look and makes it look like it is coming straight out of your scalp. Now this has to be by far one of my favorite fake scalp units yet. Honestly you guys, I've never really been a fake scalp fan, 
but this unit has definitely leaned me a little bit more towards the other side. What normally turns me off from the fake scalp units are the hairline and the placement of the fake scalp. Now, this hairline came pre-plucked. Not lightly pre-plucked, not barely pre-plucked, baby. They gave you a hairline with this unit. Plucking was not necessary, but I did a little bit more just because that's just what I do. But with this unit, you are able to pluck. Now, I may have plucked a little bit too much, got a little bit too happy, and I may have exposed lace a little bit on the side. That was completely my fault because this fake scalp is placed so beautifully that you cannot see the fake scalp or the demarcation line. So if you are able to see your fake scalp, just know that you plucked a little bit too much, honey, like I did and it's okay it's fine it's not really that noticeable um just apply some powder over it if you would like i did not because i did not mind it and you will be just fine i also want to point out how seamlessly this lace blended into my skin look at this melt girl and i did not even use any product all i did was just apply the wig to my head apply my baby hairs and that's it no spray no glue no gel no mousse this is completely glueless and look at this melt like, I don't, I don't think y'all are understanding right now. This Swiss lace is impeccable. Normally, you get this type of effect and result with HD lace. But, baby, this ain't even none of that. You ain't even paid for all that. And you're getting HD lace qualities with this Swiss lace. What's popping? And yeah, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. And as always, my lovelies, I love every single one of you. But until next time, your crown may tilt. But you never let it fall. Stay gilded.